Home and Lifestyle. Presented by Paradise Fitness Center, changing lives since 1996. Hafiday and welcome back to Health, Home and Lifestyle. Every second counts, plan two ways out. That's the theme of Fire Prevention Week beginning October 8th. The week aims to honor firefighters in our community who put their lives in line on the line to keep us safe. It also encourages families to create fire escape plans. Joining me in studio is Fire Program Manager Christine Camacho, Farron, and Firefighter One Johnny Arceo. So thanks so much for joining me. Can you tell us a little bit more about Fire Prevention Week and what it's all about? Sure. So Fire Prevention Week, we uh, the fire agencies, this is a Guam effort. So Guam fire effort in awareness and prevention. We have the Guam Fire Department that always takes lead and with them is the Guam um, Airport, International Airport, mm -hmm. and Guam Forestry Fire. DOD Navy and Anderson Air Force teams. So we come together, we have committees or a committee and we come up with different activities, ways that we can be creative to share that fire message. And so this year's theme, you said it, every second counts, plan two ways out. So that's gonna be the mission this, this month. We're gonna take it the whole month. So for this first week, we have a lineup of activities planned to get families, educators, everyone involved in learning how they can be more fire safe. Okay, and I think this is so important because we see these uh, incidents in the news, uh, you know, things happen and some, I, what I learned from the proclamation sounding is that it can be so fast that from the, amount, the time the fire alarm goes off to when you need to get out of the building. So can you tell us more about that? Sure, I mean, every second counts like what they say and it's it's about you know a lot of times like a fight or flight or like you, basically what you're trying to say here or what we're trying to tell the public is um have two ways out wherever you're at it can be um in your house now in your house if you're at a restaurant um i was just telling christine if you're in the plane you know what we say find your exits or if you're in the the jungle and there's a fire around you because it happens on guam know where, where you're able to exit mm -hmm. and so it's not just the home but and it's not just fires it's you know earthquakes or uh any any kind of uh d disaster that can happen um make sure you have more than one way out as well as don't hesitate find your exit yeah you know and that's something they always bring up when you take when you go on the plane is they tell you where the exits are mm -hmm. and what to do in case of emergency but people don't usually think about that in their own homes and you know we just had an example with that that plane that kind of landed and yeah. and so we don't think about that but something we need to think about and kind of plan and prepare for right i mean when we talk about wildland fires and you look at our community it's a good opportunity like this month as a village or maybe several families on a street. Look at your street. Do you have enough space for emergency vehicles to come um, to come in and to exit? And for you yourselves, do you have enough room or um, access areas in and out of your street or your village? So it's a great way to get the entire community involved. Um, and I always emphasize, like earlier today I had a class and I was telling them, Look at your, start on your street first, branch out to the rest of the village, work with the mayor's office, and bring in your fire um, partners. So there's a fire, there's a station in every village. So bring in your, your station and get them involved with helping you become more fire safe and planning those two ways out. And of yes. course, there are some fun events planned for this week. Yeah, so can you we tell have us a little bunch. bit about that? Okay. Uh, well, the kickoff is on Sunday, this Sunday. Um, mall opens at 10, so it's going to be from 10 to 2. We have a static display. Actually, we're gonna start at the Atta Loop with the, the different fire apparatus from all the agencies and we're gonna have a motorcade up to the mall. We're gonna park um, the Macy's side where kind of the buses pull up. And so you can see the, the, fire, the different kinds of fire trucks on static display, the equipment. And once you go inside, we have a billboard contest we actually do every year. All the stations get their own billboard or piece of wood. And we try and have the artistic guys come out and, um, see what they can do on the board and then we have prizes to give away. So the billboards are also going to be on the on display at the mall. Yeah. Uh, what else are we going to have? Photo and we have booth. a fun demonstration. Right, thing. so there's yeah. the rappelling demonstration from um, Red Horse Correct. and Anderson Fire Correct. and Rescue. So they'll be putting that demo on inside um, center court area. Mm -hmm. We have a variety of displays and we'll have giveaways and prizes, photo booth, face painting. Um, a really great way to attract the people and hopefully they get to walk away with 
um, tips on how to be more safe. Hey, and vote Smokey Bear's Billboard K. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry, <Thanks>. Johnny. And <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's this, this Sunday, Sunday, but yes. there's this also Sunday. another event happening next week. Uh, so, yes. Yes. Oh. So Wednesday will be um, the Chamorro Village. And what time did we say we were starting? Five, Five. o'clock? Five to eight. Chamorro Village. In the backside yeah. where the new concrete huts are, we're going to have, um, it's a scaled down. So there's going to be only a handful of apparatus there. But for people to see, and a lot of it's just for promoting, so we're going to have handouts. Um, uh, the, people can see the trucks again and just uh, be more, you know, learn more about fire awareness. Yeah. And then the third, third event will be at Kmart. So it'll be that following Saturday, which was the 14th. And for the Kmart event, it's going to be really cute because we have the kids muster that's going to be set up outside in the parking lot area. So as people come in, we can talk to them, greet them, and then um, hopefully they can bring the kids and get them to play in the muster. Mm -hmm. It'll be a fun challenge. All right, well, thanks so much. So many events coming up. Uh, just to wrap it up, can you tell us, you know, from your experience in the field, why is Fire Prevention Week so important? Oh, me first? Sure. sure. So um, Fire Prevention Week is extremely important for <laughs> forestry, fire, and community because when we talk about wildland fires, fires don't stay put. Okay, your grass fires will move in towards the community. We're losing more and more forest resources to, to these wildfires. And it would be great for the community members to look around your residence. If your residence is, if you have jungle and grasses growing right up to your back door, this is the best time now, while it's rainy season, to look at that vegetation and talk to Guam Forestry. How, what kind of plants can we introduce to your landscape to help it be um, a little safer from fire and converting those grass fuels to, to trees, native trees, something that will help keep moisture on the ground. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, we're, you know, we're, we're airport firefighters, so a lot of time, aircraft firefighters, so even though our job pertains to just the aircraft and the airport proper, uh, we're, we're still firefighters and we're advocates of fire safety. Um, in structures, in the home, uh, pretty much anywhere we assist. We tr if we can, we try and assist the different fire departments. So it's definitely important to us because we try and spread awareness through the month also. Yep. Help your fire partners defend your homes and your families from fire. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. We'll be back to.